Hello friends, welcome back to the Zone of Med and the topic for today's discussion is Marfan syndrome. We have often known or we come to know about this syndrome when we open the newspapers and come to the article regarding these famous personalities. So if you make any presentation, the main priority you can give is the patient related to that syndrome that make your presentation very effective as well as attractive. So before starting the syndrome, today we are going to discuss about the famous personality you are seeing on the screen as well as few extra personalities which we know. So starting with this personality, you often know him. He's the John Tavener. He's well known and talented, one of the British musician. He is also the author. So he's usually having the Marfin syndrome and he died at the age of 69 years so you one data is the john tavener who is a talented british musician who is suffering from marfin condition one point another one is our this that is robert johnson so robert johnson is another one who is brought to our notice which is having a marfin syndrome. So he is having the Marfan syndrome at the age of 27. Another one, this personality. If you love swimming and if you have the knowledge of um, Olympics, so you know this famous personality. He is one of the best swimmer and his name is Michael Phelps. So if you know about the Olympics. So he's the one of the best swimmer, which is reputed to having a Marfin syndrome. Plus, he is awarded by 18 Olympic gold medals, as well as he's the 39th world records. He you added 39 records to his character. That is almost unbelievable. Like 18 Olympic gold medals in just a swimming. And he's suffering from Marfan syndrome. He often denied that at almost all patients denied that he or she is suffering from some disease. But he is a patient of Marfan syndrome. So we have discussed about three famous personality. And now we are going to move in further that is this one we all know him he is abram lincoln so by seeing him we cannot consider that he is having some syndrome he's very intelligent but we all know that he was having the marfin syndrome so the four personalities we have discussed, we have more personalities and one of them is the Osama Bin Laden. He is one of the terrorists. So you can put that in your data also that the Osama Bin Laden is also one of the famous Marfin syndrome patient. He is often regarded as a destruction of the large number of the families but still since he is having some syndrome so we can consider it as a reference so now we can i have put all the important one all the important personalities in this you can write it down here you can also put one of the famous personality that is Jevers Botet, that was one of the actor and the writer in Spanish, that is also one Martin syndrome patient. So these are the pictures of Michael Phelps, who is the swimmer who is awarded by 18 gold medalist and has 39 world records in it. So he is having a Martin syndrome. Moving forward, now let's see what is this Marfan syndrome is all about. When we talk about the Marfan syndrome, we say it is an autosomal dominant inheritance disorder. Inheritance disorder of what? Inheritance disorder of connective tissue. So it can be affected by a connective tissue. A Marfan syndrome is the regarded as a syndrome of our connective tissue. So it is characterized by the loss of elastic tissue, 
and it is having some multi problems that is our cardiovascular neurological respiratory musculoskeletal we all see this in a great detail so what we learn we learn that marfan syndrome is a disorder that usually affects the connective tissue what is connective tissue the importance of connective tissue is that it provides the strength and flexibility to the structures what structures such as bones ligaments blood vessels as well as our heart valves also so when we talk about the symptoms of the marfan syndrome we say that the marfan syndrome um, symptoms are wide or we say it is a, a timing of depends on the timing of the onset and the rate of progression so as we know that we say that the marfan syndrome affect connective tissue so the question might ask in the fiber why it affect only connective tissue because it because the connective tissue is found throughout our body therefore the marfan syndrome affect many system and it causes the abnormalities when we talk about the problems we can see over here i have mentioned that when we talk about the vision problem vision problem is the ectopic lenses what is this ectopic lenses is all about we'll see in the further slide of this presentation or Okay, wait. I'll explain over here only. The ectopic lenses is basically defects in one eye or both the eyes, in which there is the lens problem. When we talk about here, you can see our iota. You all are familiar with this iotic part. So, another symptom of this is that the their uh, aortic dissection is or aortic aneurysm is one of the most important or one of the leading problem of this marfan syndrome so i hope this is clear to all the important points which we need to remember i have already put in this description uh, in this slide so so now you can see that we have mentioned that it is a genetic disorder and what type of genetic disorder it is it is autosomal dominant what is autosomal dominant it is the suppose we have we call a character as a trait right so any trait or a disorder that can be passed through the families like from parents to children and so on so when we talk about the rate at what rate this uh, marfan syndrome is passing through the generation so marfan syndrome is inherited through almost estimated about 20% of cases that are affected people with no known family history of the disease the transmission rate is 25% when it is hereditated it is present when you are born even if it is sometimes not detected it is basically detected at the age of 19 to almost 19 years of age 10 to 19 years of age or it is present by the birth so here you can see that autosomal dominant is passing through the parents and what uh, what estimated it can be take it as 25% of the cases which is affected with the family having the family history of such syndrome so now moving forward now we will see what are the symptoms or what are the things that the marfan syndrome patient is suffering and we need to learn about them in brief so let's begin with this portion so in this picture you see this boy so let's figure out what abnormalities he is having so when we talk about the individual which is suffering from marfan syndrome it is basically somewhat very tall and slender that was the reason we consider one of the best swimmer we have discussed in our first slide michael phelps that is having the syndrome so this guy you can see it is very long tall or we say that it is a cylinder 
same shape when we talk about its fingers if you see their fingers very closely so it is having the elongated fingers here in the toes also you can see they are very elongated so the terminology which we you can we can use for the elongated fingers and the toes is arachnodactyly so they are having arachnodactyly then they are having another points that is they have a loose joints in them and have a arm span that exceed their body you can see their his body is very cylindrical shape and very thin whereas the arm is extending very exceeded so their body height other common feature which you can include is this face the face is narrow and long when we talk about the tooth the when we see very closely the tooth of such patient is crowded like we don't have a crowded tooth but they have a crowded teeth in them they have another important thing that is scoliosis what is this scoliosis scoliosis is also known as the kyphosis and it is basically the abnormal curvature of the spine here in the diagram you cannot see properly but the patient with the marfan syndrome has abnormal spine and the disease and this term which we give is scoliosis so another one it we consider it either they have a sunken chest or they have a protruding chest if they have a sunken chest then we call them as a pectus exavectum or if they have the protruded chest we say it as the pectus carinatum so do remember these term they can ask in your question now let's see some other syndromes here it is the detail part i have mentioned so it can be easy for you to discuss them individually we have seen that it has an elongated fingers and elongated toes so it is known as arachnodactyly then when we talk about another part then they have the spontaneous pneumothorax what is this that is if the basically some individual develops some abnormally accumulation of air in the chest cavity and that result in the collapse of the lungs and that uh, uh, that uh, syndrome or that the term which we give them such in a such condition is spontaneous pneumothorax so it is one of the thing when we talk about the eye part so when we connected our eye part they are having the myopia what is myopia it is near sightedness then they can have a cataract that is the clouding of the lens that may occur in our basically mid adulthood and then we have the glaucoma you all are aware with what is the syndrome it is basically when our pressure in the ocular part or in the eye part in the pressure is increased we call it as the glaucoma and it is basically this syndrome occur very frequently in the patient having the marfan syndrome so the symptoms can be become apparent between our infancy till the adulthood as we have already seen when we talk about in the previous slide that the symptoms arises at around 10 to 19 or at the birth also another one another symptoms which you can see over here is our dural ectasia that is enlargement of the dura dura is present in our brain so you can connect with the enlargement of the dura as the dural ectasia then we have already studied what is pectus carinatum that is protruding chest and what is pectus exact vitam that is shankar chest so these are the symptoms and the, i already said that there is a crowded teeth in such patient these are the main important symptoms which you need to know in this now moving forward let's discuss how it is occur so talk about how this um 
syndrome is basically we say that it is autosomal dominant inherited genetic disorder that is caused by the mutation in our gene that is fibrillin 1 gene that is FBN1 gene. Then moving forward in this, we, we say that the patient has an acute aortic dissection that is the or aortic aneurysm that is one of the leading cause of the patient who is having this uh, Marfan's syndrome. So what is happening, happening here is that there is medically degeneration and aneurysm formation over here. Now, in addition to its structural function, in the formation of the elastic fibers, in this syndrome, the important elastic fiber is the fibrillin. So, what is the major role of our fibrillin? And like we know that the fibrillin is important elastic fiber. Why it is important elastic fibers? So now, as I say that the important elastic fibers in this um, particular syndrome is we are going to concern about the fibrin and the fibrin plays an important role in maintaining our one of the important factor that is known as transformation growth factor. So what is this transformation growth factor? It is present in an inactivated form. Dysfunctional fibrillin, if we have a dysfunction in our fibrillin, it gets, if we have, uh, like uh, dysfunction fibrillin increases our transformation growth factor, bioavailability, and basically the concentration in our extracellular matrix leading to the activation of our pro-inflammatory transmission factor. Now, in turn, when this everything pro-inflammatory transcription factors arises, in turn, these events can cause increased expression of our matrix metalloproteinase and cytokines that control the migration and infiltration of our basically inflammatory cells into our iota. So as we say that the Marfan syndrome is concerned with our iotic iota part and it is basically our iotic dissection. dissection. So once this matrix metalloproteinases and cytokines that controls the activity or the expression and infiltration of inflammatory cells in the iota. Moreover, this uh, um, transformation, transforming growth factor, it causes the accumulation of our reactive oxygen species, it increases the reactive oxygen species, which leads to the further degradation of an elastic fiber, what elastic fiber, the fibrillin, and all this process leads to the formation of our elastolysis, so which increases the risk of our cardiovascular diseases. What is the elastoplysis? It is basically in a small vessel, vascular tights normally involves neutrophil elastates and that result in our vascular remodeling. So it is our elastoplysis. So what things we need to remember? One thing is that the gene which is mutated is fibrillin 1. The elastic fiber which is concerned is fibrillin. There is increase in the TGFP factor. First, it is an inactive state. It gets inactivated when there is the, any inflammation which leads to our matrix metalloproteinases and cytoclines 
expression or activity increase and which leads to our elastolysis that is vascular remodeling so it is complete thing which we need to remember as we say that the, it is inheritable diseases and symptoms or we see traits or the character or disorder are usually noticeable at birth but in some cases are not every time it is noticeable during childhood or we say during at the time of adolescence individual present with such syndrome has a very severe tissue weaknesses and that tissue weakness is concerned with our iota heart our eyes and skeleton that is syndrome which we have mentioned in our second slide so these patient normally avoid the activities that exert the, or they put external stress or pressure on their iotas or we say on their cardiovascular system therefore if the patient is diagnosed and it is made and prophylactic treatment is initiated in a time very fashionly so marfan syndrome is of oh, when we talk about pathologically about this so when we see its pathological part we say there is the vascular remodeling in this part now which if we have done with complete part of this marfan syndrome and what type of syndrome it is so here it is the trigametric point which i have mentioned the patient with the marfan syndrome it is having starting with the eyes it is have a myopia that is ectopic lens then moving forward it's you can see its spine curvature is very different they are having the pectus evac Cavitum. Then they have the hyperextensible joints. Then it is a tall, thin stature arm exceeds its arm span is exceeded. Then when we see it is at the fib, uh, mutation in our fibrillin one gene, and it is present at the chromosome fifteen, and they have a fat. feet then they are having the arachnodactyly that is long feet and toe then they have a pneumothorax and they have the regurgitation of the heart that is aortic dilation dissection rupture so it is complete the diagrammatic view so it is easy for you to understand the marfan syndrome now we have an important question over here that is and 5 25 years old man has been diagnosed with some marfan syndrome and we talk about that uh, what uh, which statement is right and which is wrong so we need to see the answer which is true so first is about 70% of the people with marfan syndrome have restricted lung disease so it is a true statement why it is true statement because the person all about 70% of the people with the marfan syndrome have the restricted lung disease restricted lung disease usually do not allow the chest to expand fully when the lungs cannot expand that result in the decreased ability to extend the lung that is breathing in that is inhalation which makes it difficult for the body to take the amount of the oxygen which is needed so this point is correct then second point is it is caused by the mutation in the gene called fp1 gene it is correct part then the crowded or crock teeth is the common finding it is a common finding it is also correct a person with marfan syndrome has 20% chance of passing on to their children so here this one is wrong because a person with the marfan syndrome usually has a 50% chances of passing it on to their children so 
what things we need to remember in this it's same terms it's personality which is going and another thing is that marfan syndrome transit transit percent is 50 percent for example if the father is having this syndrome so if the chances it is to pass is 50 percent only and not 75 or 100 percent or 25 percent so 50 percent is the transaction rate that's all about the marfin syndrome hope you like the content of the video if you like the content do subscribe so that you can get the notification whenever i put the new video hope i make it very easy for you put your reviews in the comment section Till then, bye. Take care.